Hi everybody, it's a Wednesday. It's time for a grocery haul. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump in and try and get this done um, pretty quickly here because it's already one o'clock and it's getting late. So I'm gonna start with what I got at Aldi. The majority of these things are from Aldi this week, but I did get a few things from Sprouts and HEB as well. So those are still in here, but starting it off over here, um, in the back corner, I got our half gallon of milk and I got two cans of black beans. I have my sugar-free peach flavored um, sparkling water, a bag of cilantro and a bag of green onions. And then coming down here, I decided to try these this week instead of my usual. Now they're not organic, but they are uncured and it was a giant pack. I think there's 20 in here for $2.99. So they're uncured, no nitrites or nitrates. So I decided I would try them out. See, they looked, I mean, they look like regular hot dogs. So we'll see. We'll see how they go. But it was just a lot and I didn't want to spend as much money this week. So I figured that would last us a little bit. Um, the next thing I got were, of course, the freezer boxes of sausages. These are 99 cents a box and you get 10 links. I got two containers of hummus. This one is roasted red pepper. Red pepper hummus is just about my favorite everywhere unless I can find a cilantro lime one and then or a cilantro jalapeno. Then that is my favorite, but most places don't have it. So um, this is my next favorite. And then I decided to try this. We have never tried the roasted pine nut hummus. So we'll try that. These were on sale at Aldi this week for like a under two dollars for each one of those so that was a great deal these were 79 cents for a pack of sliced white mushrooms so I picked that up these uh, aroma tomatoes were 79 cents a pound so I picked those up got up my rainbow carrots and my regular carrots and then here the organic uh, snacking peppers were two something under three dollars I can't remember exactly but it was under three dollars which is about the regular price non-organic so I was pretty excited about that and then I got only one little thing of cheese and that's more for my kids than for me and then we picked up a bag of marshmallows because they were less than a dollar like 88 cents there and I plan to do more of like a stem activity with them so they can build with toothpicks and and um marshmallows. I'm sure they'll eat some of them at the end, but that's mostly what it's for. Then I got my free range chicken broth, which is under $2 a carton at Aldi every week. Then I got a pineapple for 98 cents, I believe. Um, and then Dijon mustard was also about a dollar. Um, I got onion powder. It was also right around a dollar, maybe like a dollar 15 or 16 or something. Um, I have this big huge thing of ginger. Their ginger is really cheap there. I always get it there. I feel like it's kind of expensive everywhere else. Um, limes were like 15 cents each or 20 cents each, something like that. Um, I got tomatillos, so you know it's probably gonna be a salsa week. And then um, avocados were 33 cents each, so I got six. And then their top sirloin was on sale this week. So I picked this one up. So this big, huge one, I will probably cut. My husband will probably get a pretty good sized piece of this. And then I will share with the kids because my kids won't eat like their own size steak. So this one here, I think is just about two pounds. It was 1.7 pounds for this. And it was $8.48 because it's on sale for $4.99 a pound for sirloin, which is a pretty good deal. Father's Day, you know, all the steak is on sale right now. All right, and the bananas. The organic bananas were also from Aldi. They were the cheapest at like 49 cents a pound for organic bananas, so I went ahead and got those. That is everything from Aldi. Moving on to Sprouts. So I picked up the organic strawberries. They were $2.98 a package, and it's a one pound package. So these smell really, really good. I could smell them in the car. So um, I'm excited for those. And then um, I got here. I'll actually open this up so you guys can see it because it's hard to see in the wrapper. I got two packages of this 
Garrett Valley all natural sugar free dry rubbed and uncured pork bacon. And then this is, I guess, endorsed by Paleo Magazine. So if you follow Paleo Diet, um, you know that this is clean and clear of everything that you are not supposed to have on that diet. Um, and it was $4.99 this week, and I thought I had to use my rain check, and it rang up $4.99 instead of $5.99. So check when you're there because it might be on sale still, even though the tag doesn't say it is. It was in my in the computer system at my Sprouts. So if you like this bacon, make sure you go and pick some up. Um, bell peppers. Red bell peppers were two for a dollar, which is an outrageous price for those. So I picked those up. And I got, um, I don't know if any of you know, but you can buy spices by the ounce there instead of like, you know, a whole container. So I just got powdered garlic because I didn't want to go buy a big, huge thing yet. So I just picked that up. And it was on sale, actually, like 67 cents an ounce or something. Um, and then I got this giant bag of green beans because this is probably the most neutral favorite vegetable in the family. Um, so I picked those up, and then I realized that they had Brussels sprouts on sale for $1.99 a pound, which is crazy, and I didn't know that because it wasn't in the ad. So check, if you guys like Brussels sprouts, check, because they've been $2.99 forever, and I wasn't going to pay $2.99 for them, but I will pay $1.99 for them because I like them. And then the asparagus was $1.45, I want to say, each, and so I picked up two of those. Got my regular bag of spinach over here. It's under $2 for the bag. And then, of course, my grass-fed yogurt for my kids. We got eight of them this week. So that's for them. Um, but I like them to keep a really healthy gut. So these don't have any, like, sugars that are going to be bad and stuff like that in them. So, you know, I put extra probiotics in their yogurt just to give them a little boost. But... This already has everything in it, and it's really clean, and I really, really like these, and they do too, and I highly recommend them. So, that is everything at Sprouts that I got this week. So, the next thing I got, we'll go ahead and start in the front over here. I got some blueberries. I think this was $2 for this big thing. I got another one of these. It has the uncured ham um, and the oven-roasted turkey. And then this is on clearance. I got it for my kids. I actually, I think they taste kind of gross. But my daughter wanted some and her dad ate the rest. So I told her I'd get another one. Um, he did not know that she wanted it. So he's not like, you know, bad guy or anything for stealing her candy. It was for everybody to share and he didn't know she wanted it. Um, I got this. These were on sale two for five. Or I'm sorry, two for three. So it was $1.50 for this big, humongous head of cauliflower. So I got that, of course. Can't pass that up. And then again, the goofy strawberry milk or whatever, strawberry flavored milk. And the chocolate milk are for my kids. And then St. Ives is on a deal that if you spent $6, you got $3 back coupon at HEB. So I picked up four because three on its own does not work because... The two pennies you miss per thing count, so it's not with tax. It's pre-tax, just so you know, because I know some places don't follow that rule. Some do. H-E-B does, so you have to buy four to get the $3 off, but that's fine. I really don't mind because it's really inexpensive. It's only like $1.98 a bottle. So we're, we're pretty stocked up on that for a little bit. Next, I went ahead and got these because we use flushable wipes, but we would use the nice and fresh. But they didn't have any coupons for nice and fresh this week, and they were out of all the singles. So they're trying, it seems like they're really trying to push their brands now um, in this category. And so it was either nice and fresh or this one for a dollar off. And for four packs, it was like five something. So you'd get it for... Um, for really, really inexpensive because I think it's three something for two packs on the other one. So it would have cost almost $2 more to get the same amount from Nice and Fresh. So I picked this up. So we're going to have those for a while, which is great. And then I got these for me. And technically this is not on our diet because I'm not supposed to have potatoes. But you know what? It's in 100% avocado oil. So it's not soybean oil or anything like that. And... Every once in a while, I just kind of want a snack, and I thought, 
This is probably better than some of the other stuff that I'm gonna wanna eat when I really wanna just munch on something. So I got them. Everybody has their things. I love chili lime flavored stuff. So when I saw it in avocado oil, I was like, I have to get that. So that is everything that I got today. I'm going to be um, showing you guys my meal plan also this week so you guys can let me know if there's a specific recipe you want to see. Then you can comment below and let me know. Um, is, um, and then on top of that, those of you that follow me on Instagram know that I'm trying out a new diet and so not all these things that I have here are things I will eat. Some A lot of the fruit is all for my kids. The diet that I'm trying out is slow carb, but you're supposed to have one day a week where you eat off of the diet. I guess it helps your metabolism out. So that's going to be my chips. <laughs> something I want on my day so I'm gonna save them for the end of the week and if I do good at the end of the weeks then I get to have my chips so that is everything if you want to learn more about my diet um, I can post some more information but it, all of that stuff is probably gonna be more on my Instagram page because I try and keep a lot of my diet and exercise stuff a little separate from my YouTube stuff only because it doesn't really fall into the same category of what I show on YouTube and I don't want to like mix in this weird side thing. So recipes I'll show that's still part of you know what I do but I'm not going to shove my diet and my exercise stuff in everybody's faces that just want to know about my Dollar Tree and my recipes and cleaning hacks and stuff. So don't worry I'm not going to bombard you but if you are curious or you are interested in it Follow me on Instagram, please, and you will get to see more of that. So thanks again for watching. I'll post at the very, very end here a picture or I guess like a calendar of my dinner plans for this week, and you let me know if there's a recipe you want to see. Catch y'all later. Bye. Oh, yeah, totally forgot because these were off to the side, so I didn't break them. I got these at HEB and um, not the lentils. Those are for dinner tonight. But the... um. The eggs were on sale for like $3.50 or something crazy. So I was going to go to Sprouts on um, the weekend to get their deal on pasture-raised eggs, but I got it already at HEB, so I don't need to go out again, which is great because I don't want to have to go out to all the way to Sprouts. It's not super close to me. So I ch uh, check your HEBs because these were on sale for under $4. All right. Bye, guys.